broadcast originally also a government review of the way that ICBC was conducting itself in terms of its litigation strategy, its lawsuit strategy, found that its legal teams were not to blame for the increase in costs. Government review finding that everything there was being done properly. The next suspicion down the line was the use of these expert reports. David Eby saying that they are costing hundreds of millions of dollars a year to allow so many of these in each particular trial. Government will be capping those. The Attorney General acknowledged lawyers will be raising concerns about that matter. Hugh is joining us talking about this winter driving day. Hugh, you're on the air. Go ahead, please. Hi. I'm not sure if you've uh, already covered this, but I've uh, been out in the boat this morning on a couple of appointments and uh, between Saanich and Sydney, uh, I think the municipal roads just have been pretty good shape. Uh, you know, and clear roads like Shelburne, Mackenzie, all that. And uh, it's all pretty passable. What's the surprise to me is that the Pat Day Highway is really still packed with snow. Yeah. And considering that there wasn't actually that much snow, like maybe five centimeters, um, I'm surprised that that road isn't in better shape than it is. You know, there's something weird about this snow. They have this packed snow as you go to the west shore as well. You think that the road could get to the point where it's bare and wet like other roads are? I don't know what it is. For some reason, up on the Peninsula and in the west shore, it was like a different kind of snow fell. I don't know why. Or a different kind of salt dust. Yeah, that's a good point. A very good point. I just think it might be worth a question to the highway contractor. Yeah, actually, I, I think that's a great question. Yeah. So let me let me ask you something. You, we're expecting another 10 to 15 centimeters tonight. What are you personally doing to prepare for that? Well, so far this morning, I've canceled uh, a lead soccer meeting that's going to be held with people coming from all over the region to a central location. We decided that wasn't a good thing to do. Um, and then some friends and I were going to get together for lunch tomorrow, uh, group of staff that I used to work with. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we're going to reschedule that for two weeks' time as well. So uh, it'll clear some time for other things, I guess, like shoveling snow from I was going to say, like shoveling the front walk. Hugh, I want to wish you the best of luck to, to yourself. I want you to drive safe, and thanks for listening to the show. We appreciate it. Thanks. Take care. Bye now. Call, call her Hugh. Let's go to... Oh, it's Genevieve. Genevieve. Yeah, good morning. of my home. I wouldn't want you to get hurt out there, Jimmy. Uh, we would miss you oh, so much. Oh, no, Adam. You know, once upon a time, yeah. before time, yeah. I would be out these children my driveway and my sidewalk first thing in the morning. I recently had surgery on my right knee, so I'm bionic now. Oh, bionic? Oh, that's good. Yeah, but you know, the thing is you have to be very careful out there because if I fall, it's going to be trouble yeah. getting up. But I'm calling because I heard you mention the word ICDC. And in as much as I, I am delighted with services that we receive in British Columbia, yeah. Adam, I think the increases that are happening, not just ICDC, hydro, and so on and so on, it did too much in proportion to the fact that I'm tired now. We don't get those kind of increases. And you know what? The other day I looked at my um, my natural gas um, bill yeah. and I was shocked. I wasn't paying attention before. $14 for carbon. It's expensive for carbon tax. Yeah, natural gas is in order by carbon tax than any other energy that most of us use in our daily lives. I was shocked. And then the hydro bill, when we look, they're differently add on. And then there is tax on tax. I have no problem with paying a bit more, but it is disproportionate, Adam. I don't know where it stops. Well, everybody knows that I only support revenue neutral carbon taxes because I don't believe that it's fair to, pu to punish folks that are just trying to keep their houses warm and don't have any other options. The idea is it's supposed to encourage you to make your choices in the future. It's not supposed to punish people that don't have to adapt. Yeah. I just want to say one more thing. I went to renew my insurance for my car I'm so at sorry. the end of January. Yeah. And um, in almost eight years, I had 49,000 kilometers on my car. Wow. And my insurance went up by 10%, not the ICBC pass, the other pass. And I looked at the person and I said, okay, so there needs to be an increase, but why 10%? That is very hard. She says, oh, well, you know, the industry 
inflation that says you cannot increase more than X number of percent because 10% is double digit and it is not fair. You know, in terms of where ICBC is going to stop, I was reading earlier today the Attorney General had an update uh, during the show, and I was looking at it uh, at the, the point uh, bulletin during the newscast. Apparently, the legal cost for ICBC in terms of payouts and settlements, court fees, et cetera, et cetera, went up 20% last year. This government's been in for a year and a half, so it's at the point where we can't just blame the last government anymore. Uh, what is happening is actually getting worse, even with the changes. I just don't know what to do about it. Well, I'm thinking maybe we should all get big, long, long machines, attach our cars to it, attach it to our waist and start pulling our cars when we want to go anywhere. That way, we will try to avoid hitting anyone, but we will be responsible. You know what, I would, be, from behind. I would be much more fit if the government forced me to do that. But it's not with I know. Have a good day. Drive Bye. safe or don't drive at all. Be safe, Genevieve. Always appreciate your call. Always so polite. Thank you guys for taking it. You are always welcome. Who are you? My name is Ryan Price. Where's Joe? Or no, I'm Joe Perkins today. Yes, that's the where, right. Where, where's Joe? Uh, Joe's off today. Oh, okay. Actually, he's off all week, so I get to be here on the noon show all this week. Uh, happy to do it. I love when I get to be in. And today, wow, I wasn't quite expecting this. I feel like we're in the lull right now. The snow There's is more coming, coming much, but it's coming. coming. Uh, even more so, potentially. So we're going to keep covering this. Uh, we'll keep the phone lines open if people want to call in and talk about what they've been experiencing and what they're going to be experiencing. We're going to reach out to BC Ferry and see what's up with uh, BC Ferries today as they continue to, uh, to figure out how the weather's going to